Hi, NetFlow and SFlow based monitoring. In this video, we're going to use Python to decode the NetFlow v5 packets as well as SFlow packets. So let's back up a little bit. Up to this point, I, we've been using the pull methods, you know, from the, the point of view of the network management station, we're actually actively going out and asking the device for information, whether through the SNMP protocol or through API calls. And in this section, we're actually going to take a different approach. We're going to allow the device to push the information out to us. So there's going to be an agent that's sitting on the device itself and actively collecting information such as NetFlow and push that information out toward a destination. This is arguably less overhead on the device because the device if you think about the management infrastructure the, the network device has no control over who's actively asking it for information like so it has no idea where the i mean it has certain ideas of where that's coming from such as using access lists and so on but all in all say if you're allowing this slash 24 for your management and there's five snmp management station that's pulling your network device and the device has no control but to you know make the best judgment on which device you know which request to drop when it's busy let's just say it's overwhelmed and it decides to drop that it's always that balancing act and arguably using a push mechanism the device itself because the device has more control over the collection process the push of the information that it's arguably has more management and has more control over that information and that is sometimes one of the arguments for using a push mechanism versus a pull mechanism such as that we've seen so far so let's go back a little bit on explaining netflow v5 and v9 so netflow is predominantly a cisco invention so they started out with version 9 and later on become more flexible using templates for version 9 and IP fix is a standardized, in my opinion, is just, I think of it as a standardized version of NetFlow v9. And SFlow is a sampling mechanism and it samples two types of packets. It samples one in nth packets and the sampling rate in a certain specification of how many n packets that you want to sample out of. And it also does a time-based sampling of the counter on the interface. And it's up to the receiver to make sense of those and using a statistical model to calculate the projected amount of traffic that's going on the wire. So let's do a quick demonstration on both the NetFlow and the SFlow monitoring packet decoding. So let's take a quick look at, at our setup. So in our lab setup, we have a little bit of different setup where we have two Ubuntu hosts. One is the client and one is the server, which, and also we have a, a router in between that's routing between the client and the server. So as you can see, I have the usual, our management station, that's our VM and the client is, has the ethnet, eth0 as the management IP, as well as eth1 that's routing through the data network. And on the router itself, I've also shown the part where we already configure basically i've configured the netflow ingress egress on the two ethernet interface that you saw in the lab as well as uh, the flow export destination toward our management station and on the server the eth0 is the management and eth1 would be 10.0.0.10 so from the client let's do a real quick test ping toward 10.0.0.10 to make sure that we're able to ping through so cool so let's generate some traffic between the client and the server because we will need some traffic in order to have the netflow packet being traversed through the ios v device and export it to the management station so what we're going to do is we're going to launch the python 3 built-in server on the server itself to listen through http as you can see now it's listening to http on 8000 port and we will going to go ahead and do a curl on the 10 on the 8000 port and as you can see this guy is receiving that information and let's just do it a few more times and they're receiving the information so that's great let's look at the netflow packet that will be generated that will be exported to our management station through the router and look at that at the management station 
So on the screen, you could see that I have a Python script that was modified from the blog post from Brian, Brian Rack's example. And essentially, because the NetFlow packets are traversing through the wire in bytes, that we need to use struct and socket would be used to listen on this particular port. And we use the struct to decode the bytes. And basically, we we'll have to say, hey, from you know, 0 to 4, that we're going to unpack the version and the count. And we're going to print out these from you know 20th to 24th that we're going to print out these headers and we're going to put that into a string. We're going to be able to print them out and so on. So let's take a look at, let's repeat what we've done previously and let's make sure that we could decode this packet. So now it's started. And remember, we have to generate some traffic and my server is still listening. So let me generate traffic from the client. And I'm going to repeat that a few times. And the server is still getting it. And now that I've seen the NetFlow packets and as well as I've seen the header and also the subsequent packets. Hi, so for this SFlow portion of the lab, since the viral devices that support in the viral lab today, at least to my knowledge, do not support SFlow. So for this portion, we're just going to install the SFlow agent on the server. And essentially, if you have other networking devices that support SFlow, the agent itself is the same and they will export the same SFlow packet type. And so everything we do in this lab would have been applicable to network devices as well. So on the server itself, I already download the Debian package and I just need to install it. Let's go do that. So we're going to install it and then we're going to use the system control to enable the agent. And we're going to change or modify the config file. And basically right here, we're just going to specify the export agent. In this case, you probably know the IP by heart now. It's uh, 172.16.1.10. All right, great. And now let's start the agent. Awesome. So we're just going to start the web server again. And we're going to have the client to curl just to make sure the communication is happening. And right here, we're going to use the SFlow tool, but we're just going to start on 6343 just to let you guys see the output. And you see from here, the output is already, the SFL tool already did the heavy lifting and it's, you know, converting the binary into a text already. So for our parser, it makes our life a lot easier. So for our parser, we're just going to do a really simple, just for illustration business, for illustration purposes, that we're going to look, read standard in, and then we're just going to use regular expression to grab the agent line from that standard in. So we're just going to pipe it to the standard output and there's the standard output from the SFlow tool as a standard end on the parser and we're going to output it into output.txt. And we're just going to, since the web server is still running, we're just going to generate a few more traffic doing the curl from the client and hopefully we'll see some traffic. Uh, let's stop this and look at, oh, there it is, the agent. So in this video, we saw an overview of NetFlow and SFlow taking a different approach. So instead of the manager station going out there, query for information, we have the network devices having an agent that's sitting on the network device and exporting the information out. The NetFlow or the flow-based monitoring is extremely important when you need to talk about top talker, because now that you have a way to see the traffic volume, and, and you're able to aggregate it and then see the top talker over time. And this is extremely important in the security field where if you want to, you know, when you're under such a, something like a denial, distributed denial service attack, that you want to see the top talker and you want to black hole the attacker that the, you usually rely on the flow-based tools. In this video, we also saw examples of using Python to decode the NetFlow version 5 packets as well as the SFL packets. And that comes in handy when you want to troubleshoot or you want to verify that the SFlow export is working correctly. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at alerting and email notification. See you there.